welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex and I'm obsessed with all things thrifting home decor and fashion. I'm also a digital nomad and love traveling. I love to document my thrifting adventures in all the amazing countries that I visit. Right now I'm splitting my time between LA and Europe, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more of that content from me. Today, I'm taking you through a very easy and affordable room makeover. So we have a small studio space here in Venice Beach where I am that we put up on Airbnb and it's a beautiful space as you'll see in the before footage, but it was just a little bit plain. So we wanted to elevate it, really bring out the beautiful natural architecture here and add just some small touches that made it really feel like a beautiful space. So this is great inspiration for any rental property that you have or even just your own room if you are into boho home decor. Today I'm also wearing this amazing crop blazer that I found in my most recent video, my thrift with me here in LA. So this was seven bucks half off at Goodwill. Be sure to check that video out if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. It really helps me understand what you all wanna see from me next. And without further ado, let's jump right in. If you haven't already, check out my previous video where I walk through some of the home decor finds that I've gotten in past thrifting trips, mostly baskets for a wall art moment, some other boho touches, and some more practical items that we're using to make sure the space is really functional. Again, not going too overboard here because it is a rental property and we want people to feel at home and feel like they can spread out and aren't necessarily in someone else's space so these are just a few touches that make it feel a little bit more homey bring in the character of the neighborhood and the city but also keep it minimally decorated So here's a quick overview of the room. It's actually a studio space. So this is just the bedroom living area. It's got beautiful beam ceilings. It's got these clean white walls. They're coming up a little yellow on camera, but they are a warm tone white. So we're working with a great space, but it's just a little bit plain and lacks character and lacks a look or a theme here. So again, not trying to do too much, but there is a um, bed area, a desk, a dresser at the foot of the bed and to the right, a full length mirror. So it's definitely equipped with all of the essentials. So the first thing I wanted to do was lay out the wall art moment that I'm creating. So I just put all the baskets down on the bed and tried to map them out according to the layout and the spacing that I wanted. And then you can see here that I'm really just eyeballing it, putting up my two favorite pieces and then arranging the baskets to go from lower on the left up to higher up on the right. And you can really have fun with this. You'll even see in the final shot that I ended up making some last minute changes. So I really wasn't too worried about it being perfect and wanted to just kind of follow a general shape that I had in mind. Then I styled the shelf with just a few pieces, the pineapple home decor piece, a few books, and a fake plant that I found at the 99 cent store. Then on top of the dresser, I just added a catch-all basket and some pompous grass in a vase. On the right side of the bed, I added another faux plant from the 99 cent store and kept everything else pretty much the same, again, keeping things minimal. Then to the left of the bed, I added the dream catcher wall hanging to break up the desk area and make it feel a little bit separate. I also added the new, more functional reading lamp and another fake plant. So 
So here's a look at the final styling. I think it came together so well and shows you that you can really revive a space with just a few dollars and a few items. The wall art basket moment looks great with the wood beam ceilings. The plants add a pop of cool toned colors to the warm room. And I'm just bringing back some of these geometric pillows that you'll recognize from my apartment in San Francisco. These items really cozy up the space without overpowering it so that guests feel warm and welcome, but also don't feel overpowered by the touches in the room. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I'm really excited to tackle the other very tiny spaces here, which include the kitchen, bathroom, and the walk-in closet. All right, well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to see what you can do with just a few dollars to elevate your space. I'm gonna be posting several more videos walking you through all the spaces in my home, which are mostly thrifted. I think probably 75% thrifted at this point. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when I upload a new video. And until next time, bye.